Hello, welcome to Snails and Fairy Dust. I'm not one to normally do holiday-themed jewelry, but my 13-year-old is obsessed with cats, especially black cats, and she loves Halloween. So this is for her. Um, I do have a free pattern on my website to download to follow along with. And if you stick around in the video, you're going to see a cameo of my very own black cat, Hamilton. Okay, so let's take a look at our supplies. I am using size 11 Miyuki Delica beads. I have this chain. Um, it's like a linked chain. I think maybe like a two millimeter link. I'm not sure exactly. I have some ear wires. These are like French style ear wires with a ball on the end. And I have pliers to be able to close the ear wires later. And I have clippers to clip the chain, wire cutters. And I have fire line beading thread and a size 12 beading needle. Okay, so to get started, I've cut about four and a half feet of my fire line beading thread. I like to run the thread between my fingernails to get it nice and flat. Makes it so much easier to thread a needle. That's a little tip I'm giving you. So always do that with your fire line. It's just going to save you a lot of grief. And then we're going to start with ladder stitch. So we pick up four beads. If you have watched some of my other videos, this is probably very familiar to you, but I wanna make sure anyone just starting out beading is able to follow along with this project. So slide those four beads down towards the end of your thread and then loop back around and come right back up through the first two beads. And you wanna leave yourself about a three to four inch tail. And then you're gonna bring your needle back down through the second two beads like that. And then you're gonna pick up your next two beads, which in this pattern happen to be the greenish yellow for the eyes. So pick those up and then you're gonna bring your needle back down through the last two beads. And then just come right back up through those beads you just added. There you go. And you're gonna do it again, pick up two more beads and come up through the last two beads you've added. In this case, these beads are black. We're making the sort of center of the eye now. And you come back down through those two beads. And pick up your next two beads. And you're gonna carry on like this across to the end of this row, which I believe is 11 wide, maybe 13 wide. Sorry, don't quote me on that. <laughs> and when you get to the end of the row, following the pattern, Meet me back here and then we will step up to the next row. Okay, so here we are at the next row and we're gonna begin our brick stitch. To begin it, we're gonna pick up the first four beads in the next row, slide our needle underneath the second thread bridge from the outside of our work, Come all the way through there. And then we're gonna bring our needle back up through the second two beads. And down through the first two beads. And finally after that, we're gonna come up through the second two beads again. And everything will click into place and it's very satisfying. There we go, give that little pull. And there they are sitting right where they're supposed to. And then we pick up the next two beads in the pattern. In this case, it's a black and a green. Bring your needle underneath the next thread bridge and then right back up through those two beads. And you'll continue the rest of the row in this way, just two beads at a time rather than four. So two beads, slide under the thread bridge and right back up. Let's take one more look at that. Two beads, we're gonna go under the thread bridge. And back up through those two beads. Okay, so carry on with the rest of your row in this manner. And when you get to the end, meet me back here. Okay, here we are, we finished that row. And now we are ready to start the second row or the, yeah, the second row of brick stitch. But this one's gonna be a single brick stitch rather than a double. So we're just picking up two beads this time. So two beads 
slide your needle underneath that second thread bridge and come back up through the second bead and then down through the first bead, back up through the second bead, and now you're ready to go. The rest of the row, you're just gonna be adding one bead at a time rather than two, um, because this pattern combines single brick stitch and double brick stitch in order to be able to get that nice curve rather than just a sort of straight triangular shape. Okay, so finish up that row. When you get to the end, meet me back here and we'll take a look at the next part, which is the cute little ears. Okay, so here we are at the end of that row and we're just gonna do the same single brick stitch. Um, so start a row of single brick stitch again, but this time we're just gonna add four beads and then when we get to the end of those four beads we're going to work back across um, to make a tiny little section of decreasing brick stitch which will then turn into our little triangular ear so i'm going to add i'm on the third bead here and here comes the fourth and then what i'm going to do is just turn my work around and I'm going to work back in the opposite direction. Instead of continuing across that row, I am going to work back. So I'm starting a row, brand new row. So you go with your same technique of starting a row, um, but you're just going to go back across this little section. So this will be three beads in this row. And then the row above that will be two and so on. So when you get to the top, that's where it's going to be a little bit different um, because I just added that bead in a different way so that it gives us a bit more um, of a triangular top to the ear. It gives makes the ear a bit taller. So here we are. We're almost there. Okay, so now rather than adding this top bead in the normal way, I am going to just pick up that top bead and bring my needle right back down the neighboring bead. This way we don't end up with exposed thread. And I also like the way it just sort of sits. You'll see in a second. See, it's sort of cute at the top there. So we add that at the top, just sitting on its side like that. So it's sitting in a different way from the other ones. And then we need to work our needle down to the bottom of the work and come back up to the center so we can make that other ear. So here I am, I'm gonna work down one bead at a time or two beads at a time. Don't rush it because you don't want to break your beads. Um, just find a nice clear path all the way down to the bottom. Work our way through. And then when we get to the bottom, we're going to come back up to the top and we're going to start that second row um, for the second ear. So I'll see you there in a second. Okay, so here we are at the top and we're just gonna start a new row of single brick stitch just like we did for the other ear. You should totally have this by now. Um, so I'm not gonna walk you through all of it and I'll meet you back here when you're finished with that ear. Okay, here we are, we finished that ear and now you just wanna work your thread back down so you end up on the outside of that first row of ladder stitch. Um, because we're gonna get there, we're gonna turn our work around and then we're gonna work decreasing brick stitch in the opposite direction. Um, so when you get down to that outside edge, meet me back here and we will get started. Okay, so here we are. We are going to work 
brick stitch in the opposite direction. Um, so the first row going in the opposite direction is double brick stitch again. So we're gonna do a row of double brick stitch and then we move on to single brick stitch. Um, so you should be a pro at this by now. I don't need to walk you through it. Um, so just keep following your pattern, make sure your beads end up in the right place. And I will meet you back here um, to move up to the next row. Okay, so here we are. I've actually finished that row of double brick stitch and a row of single brick stitch. Um, so we can now see that cute little nose. Just keep it working across now. Um, I think you have like four rows of single brick stitch coming up. And here comes the cameo by my friend Hamilton, um, who normally doesn't bother me when I'm beating these days. He's getting more mature these days, but he must have known that um, he was my muse for this earring. So he has come in to say hello to everyone and show how handsome he is. <laughs> um, okay, and he remains for the rest of the video because he was just too cute to move. Plus these earrings are for my daughter. So if I was making them for someone else, I obviously wouldn't let a cat sit on top of my mat, but they are for her. So then we're gonna continue on adding one row of single rows of brick stitch till we get to the very bottom. And then that bottom row is gonna be just a little bit different. Um, so meet me back here for that one. Okay, so here I am at that bottom row. And if you take a look, the bottom row is just set in um, a couple beads over from the other rows. So what I'm gonna do to achieve that is bring my needle down through the neighboring bead and then back up through the bead next to that so that my needle is exiting the second bead rather than the first bead. And then I'm just gonna work that row of single brick stitch across, um, not all the way across, we skip the last bead if you're taking a look at the pattern. And then we're gonna be pretty much done with the head and we just need to add the chain for the um, ear wire to hang from. So meet me back here when you get there and we will go over that. Okay, here we are, I finished the last row and I need to get my needle up through the work to exit that center bead at the very top of the cat's head. So just work your needle up through the work one by one. And when you get to the top, meet me here and we will add our chain. Okay, here we are at the top. We are exiting that top center bead and I've just realized my chain is missing because it's under Hamilton. <laughs> um, so I grab my chain and I wanna make sure it's the same length as the other chain. Ideally, you'd wanna cut both pieces of chain together at the beginning to make sure they're the same length. Um, so I clip it with my wire cutters there. You're just gonna clip one of those little links and then bring your needle through the link the bottom link, and then bring your needle back down into your beadwork. And that is going to attach that chain to your beadwork. Um, so I'm just gonna bring that down into the beadwork. And then after that, I am finished with my thread. So I'm going to just weave it into the work to secure it and anchor it. Um, and I do that by just going down through beads and like back and forth and I'm going to find a little section of two beads to sort of wrap around. Um, you just want to create lots of tension. And with these beads, um, with this particular earring, it's also good to just sort of reinforce it. Um, the more thread you get through there, the stiffer the little piece will be. And you want it to have a bit of structure. So um, just sort of going back and forth through the beads is going to create more structure. The, the fuller the holes of the beads are, the stiffer your piece will be. Um, so I am just going to do that. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to take that original um, tail and I will weave that back into the work as well. So take care of all your threads and then give them a clip and meet me back here. Okay, so here we are. We have our chain all attached. 
I'm just going to take this little French ear wire, start from the tail end of it and add it into the last link on your chain. Slide it on down there and then grab a pair of pliers and just close that little loop up. You want to make sure the like ball end of this loop is touching really well so that um, your earring doesn't slip out of there. I like to press it down a little bit to make sure it's definitely touching. And there we have it. We finished this adorable little pair of earrings. My 13 year old is wearing them bowling today as we speak. Um, and we didn't wake up Hamilton, so job well done. Happy Halloween or happy cat day, whatever you are celebrating. And um, I'll see you back here soon. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. All right, bye.